and just trying to get uh, more points to the to the trots van het Norden. Ruben Itergaard Jensen is nog maar drie maanden in Groningen en hij gebruikt nu al Nederlandse woorden in zijn zinnen. Het tekent de Noor, want tijdens zijn presentatie aan de pers op 7 juni liet hij al horen FC Groningen als club goed te kennen. Also what was very important for me is that the values of the club being a family club with positive values and uh, being the proud of the North is things that uh, me and my family can identify with and that's also important for me. And you also say proud of the North so yeah. you you uh, you know the club a little bit. Yeah, I, it was a very important decision for me now, uh, being uh, coming into my hopefully best years now, the next three, four years, and uh, I want to get maximum out of it. So it was a very important decision. I spent a lot of time uh, uh, considering uh, where I should uh, spend my next years. Tijdens de perspresentatie waren zijn vrouw en zoontje ook aanwezig. Jensen kwam die middag nog met een leuk nieuwtje. They were here, <laughs> my wife and my son, and I have also another son coming in August. Jensen reisde eind augustus twee keer van Groningen naar Noorwegen om bij de geboorte van zijn tweede zoon te kunnen zijn. Hij miste daardoor onder andere de thuiswedstrijd tegen FC Twente. Yeah, it was a very busy period. Uh, it was of course a lot of stress. You want to be there for for the family and wife when she's pregnant and giving birth. And luckily we. We made it so that I was there uh, at the birth. Yeah. How was that, that uh, you had the possibility to go to Norway? Yeah, that was very good and something that we had planned uh, uh, before I signed for Groningen. So uh, that was an important part of the deal for me. De rust is inmiddels alweer een tijdje terug in Huizen Jensen. En dus kan de kleine middenvelder zich volledig richten op het voetballen. Jensen speelt alweer ruim 11 jaar betaald voetbal. De laatste drie jaar in de tweede Bundesliga voor eerste FC Kaiserslautern. It's different. The, the second league in Germany is like you think German football is. It's more uh, power and the tempo is higher. And the Eredivisie has more quality and more uh, more uh, technique. And it's more about possession and, and, and football. So it's a big difference from the the tweede, tweede Bundesliga. Yeah. What do you like the most? I think uh, the football in Eredivisie suits me a lot. So um, I'm trying to bring. Uh, some of the tempo that we had in the Twitter Bundesliga and bring it uh, in uh, for FC Groningen. Straks vertelt Jensen over zijn speelstijl, de Scandinavische maffia en de kerstman. Hello all, thank you all for coming. Uh, first of all, and thank you for uh, for the nice words. Uh, my name is Ruben Ittego Jensen. I'm from Norway, uh, Tromsø. Next neighbor is Santa Claus. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, way up north if you look on Google Maps. <laughs> uh, I've been born and raised in Tromsø and played for Tromsø almost my whole life. Uh, my first club was uh, a small club in Tromsø, Fløya, with also with uh, green and white jerseys. So it fits perfectly in with, uh, with Groningen. Ruben Itergaard Jensen kwam afgelopen zomer naar FC Groningen en werd daarmee de tweede noor in de selectie van de FC. Alexander Surlot was hem een half jaar eerder al vooraf gegaan. Yeah, I think that's very nice also that you have Casper uh, and Simon also. Then we have a, a small Scandinavian mafia here in uh, Groningen. Me and Alex can understand Simon and Casper, but they don't understand each other. So me and Alex has to tra translate between them. Okay, so you, you can understand everything. Yeah, me and Alex understand everything. Norwegian is in the middle. Ondanks de huidige twaalfde plaats van FC Groningen heeft Jensen de overtuiging dat het een mooi seizoen kan worden. Hij heeft niet voor niets deze zomer gekozen voor FC Groningen. My goal is that we make the playoffs and uh, and also that we uh, uh, come as far as possible in the Becker. My role in the team is of course to be uh, as, uh, very stable and help the team uh, uh, to uh, make sure that every attack is stabilized, uh, hitting my passes and uh, yeah, helping the team uh, as much as I can. And how do you feel? How, how does it go? I think it's going better and better. We are getting to know each other. Uh, it's all about uh, getting the right uh, positions and the right mentality and I think we are moving in the right direction. Maar met 6 punten uit 7 wedstrijden en nog maar één overwinning staat FC Groningen niet op de plek waar het hoort te staan. Volgens Jensen kan dat snel veranderen. Uh, I think it's different from from game to game, but at least now we have uh, five games in a row where we we did not lose. So I think we are moving in the right direction. It's just about uh, winning the tight games and scoring more goals, especially at home. Yeah, that, that's of course uh, one of the things we are working uh, working at. So uh, it's it's uh, it's not like uh, you can point on one thing and say this is missing. It's uh, more complicated, but we are working hard every day, and I think it's just uh, small details, and uh, we will be um, uh, taking even more points.